Someone got a new backpack this year. Yeah. Welcome back guys and gals, Matt and Wanda back again. Today, we got a really special one for you guys. Wanda's been super excited to tell you guys all about her new backpack, the Mountain Smith Canine Pack. So without further ado, here's Wanda. All right, obviously we're just kidding here, but uh, I'm just gonna jump right into this one. Uh, the canine pack for Mountain Smith comes in three different sizes. It comes in a small, medium, and a large. Now each size pack is a different size in terms of the panniers or the saddlebags, if you wanna call them that, on either side of the pack. And they also do weigh a little bit different. To pick which size your dog needs, Mountain Smith has an awesome sizing guide, which I'll post a picture to you right here. So if you guys are unsure of how to size your dog for a pack, you can check out this sizing guide, or if you need to see a better picture of it, I'll put a link to Mountain Smith's website down below in the description box. They've got instructions on how to use their sizing guide and everything. Wanda's pack here is the medium size pack. That's what we went with for her. Now, real quickly, the differences between the three sizes, the small is three liters on each side or six liters total. The medium is five liters on each side or 10 liters total. And the large is a whopping nine liters on each side or 18 liters total carrying capacity. And they all do weigh a little bit different. The small being 16 ounces, the medium being 19 ounces and the large being 22 ounces. Now weighing this at home on my scale, this medium came in at 18.9 ounces. So Mountain Smith is extremely close on the weight listed on their website for this pack. So with the size out of the way, we'll jump into the materials of the pack real quick. Basically three different materials. I mean, there's a bunch of different webbing and straps and stuff, but the three main materials that this pack is made up of, 420D ripstop nylon, a 630D nylon, and the inside of the pack is a 210 denier nylon, which adds a little bit of extra waterproofness. I don't really know if it's waterproof or water resistant at all. I mean, if you guys have seen any of our videos of Wanda and I out hiking, Wanda lays in pretty much every piece of water that we come across and everything inside her pack gets wet anyways. So, so I end up bagging all of Wanda's stuff in a garbage bag inside the pack. I just use it like a pack liner, like I do my own pack. But Mount Smith does say that the two tendonier inside the panniers does add a little bit of extra water resistance to the pack. So now that we've gone over the features and the specs and the sizing of the pack, let's go over some of the details of the pack itself. We'll start with the saddlebags themselves. So on each side of the pack, you've got one saddlebag. This being the medium, like I said, it's five liters per side. So you've got one big compartment. I do like that it's the bright yellow inside. It makes it really easy to see everything that's inside the pocket. So when you're digging around, the yellow kind of contrasts with all her gear, which is really nice. Makes it really easy to see what's inside the pack. And you've also got a zipper on each side, which has got these two little nice side pockets which is great for having, you know, like quick, easy access to little things. I carried her booties and that kind of stuff in here. And as I mentioned that, if you guys are interested in what Wanda actually carries in her pack for all of our backpacking trips, what I'll do for you guys is up over here, I'll put a link to the video that we did recently on all of Wanda's gear that we carry on our backpacking trips. So if you guys are interested in what she carries on our trips, head over there and check that one out. Uh, keeping going on the features of the pack, you've got glove friendly zipper pulls all the way around, which is awesome. And you've also got a couple little attachment points on the front and the back of the pack, which is really nice to have. The other saddlebag on the other side is the exact same thing. Yellow on the inside of the pocket, with the same side pocket and the same two attachment points. When you go to the back paddle of the pack, you've got a really nice grab handle that's got foam insert inside. It's a really nice size, even with gloves on. And I mean, I've got pretty small hands, but you know, if you're one of these people that's got the massive gorilla hands, you'll definitely be able to grab onto this grab handle. You've got a solid metal leash attachment point at the front of the pack, which is really nice. And looking at the top of the pack, you can also see the side adjustment straps. Now, to me, the adjustment on this pack was the main selling point in us being absolutely interested in this pack. When Mountain Smith reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to check out this pack, I looked at it and when I saw the adjustability on this pack, I said, absolutely, we would totally be interested in checking out this pack. This right here is Wanda's old pack. This is the Rougher Approach Pack, another fantastic dog backpacking pack. But the main difference between the Rougher Approach Pack and the Mountain Smith Canine Pack is the adjustability of the harness system. As you can see, the rougher approach pack, it's one solid piece between the saddlebags, whereas the Mountain Smith pack, you've got this adjustability. So what I didn't like about the rough wear pack is that with the saddlebags not being adjustable, it sat so high up on her back that with weight in the pack, the saddlebags were prone to sliding around and it was a real pain to get it perfectly balanced. Like you literally had to have the weight perfectly balanced on either side or the pack would just flop around and slide around from side to side. You guys may have noticed that in some of my trip videos when I've got the shots of Wanda walking up ahead of me, her pack is kind of tilted when she's got the orange one on. But with this pack here, it's nice because you're able to get 
it slid down to either side of her body and it doesn't slide around when you've got weight in it. So I really like the adjustment on this pack to adjust the harness straps on the back side. All you do is you've got these little buckles here. You pull the strap up, loosens the buckle. You can slide the strap however you want it. And then you just click it back into place. Really easy to adjust. It took absolutely no time at all to get this fit up on her. The adjustability on the harness system itself is awesome. Going into the actual main harness portion. Coming down the front, you've got the two straps here that connect to this nice padded chest piece, which has also got a backing of foam and mesh, which helps keep her cool. And then you've got two buckles that attach to the sides of the saddlebags. And on top of that, you've also got a strap that goes around her belly. This belly strap here actually connects basically just behind her rib cage and it stops the pack from sliding off forward. When you flip the pack over, just like on the padded chest piece, you've got the padded foam with a little bit of mesh on the inside. And that goes on the back panel and both saddlebags, which helps promote ventilation. It helps keep her cool when she's wearing the pack. So far, we haven't really had a whole lot of issues with Wanda overheating when she's wearing the pack. To get the canine pack on your dog, it's extremely simple. All you do is you find the main opening here at the front. That slides over her head. You take the chest piece, slide it down underneath her, and you connect the buckles. And as I mentioned, you've also got the belly strap, which comes around and helps give her that little bit of extra security. So as you see with the pack on her, the pack sits nicely on her sides. It's nice and secure. Like I mentioned with the issue we had with the rough wear pack where it sat just a little bit higher up on her body. And when there's weight in it, the, the pack was prone to flap around. This one sits nice on her side. So the pack itself is hugged kind of around her side and it's not flopping around on her, which I really like. Uh, as you guys can probably tell, her pack is a little bit dirty. <laughs> Uh, we just got back from a backpacking trip and I haven't had a chance to wash it yet, but I figured this is a great time to show you guys because now you guys know that we actually do use the pack and if you've seen any of our trips, Wanda absolutely beats the crap out of this thing. Just goes to show how durable this pack is. Now speaking of durability, this pack here does come with Mountain Smith's famous forged in fire warranty or their lifetime warranty, which is absolutely awesome. To me, a lifetime warranty on a backpack for a dog that bashes against trees and bashes into willows is an absolute win. Hopefully we don't ever have to go and figure out how the Mountain Smith's warranty program works, but uh, yeah, the warranty is there. It does come with a lifetime warranty, which is an awesome feature to have on a dog backpack. So our overall thoughts and impressions on the Mountain Smith Canine Pack, so far we're big fans of the pack. If I had to say I had one gripe about the pack, it's I do wish it had a little bit more for attachments on the pack. The rough wear pack we had before had a little bit of daisy chain webbing on the sides. Like I mentioned, this one does have these two little loops at the front and back of the saddlebags, which is nice. I usually clip her little roll of disposable poop bags to the side here. I mean, not having the daisy chain webbing, it's not a deal breaker for me in any sense, but uh, it is kind of one of the things that I wish the pack had. So, I mean, maybe going forward, maybe that's something Mountain Smith will add to their pack going forward is a little bit more daisy chain webbing for a little bit more attachment. I do wish maybe it was a little bit bigger. I believe the rough wear one that she has is seven liters on either side. So she gets 14 liters carrying capacity total compared to the 10 in this one. But uh, I honestly, I haven't tried to load it up with eight days of food, but uh, for the, the eight day backpacking trip that we've got planned coming up in September, I do hope to be using this pack. So stay tuned to see if we are able to get the eight days of food in the Mountain Smith Canine Pack. Hopefully this helps any of you guys out if you guys are looking at uh, the Mountain Smith Canine Pack. So far, Juan and I are extremely impressed with it. Uh, you know, huge thanks to Mountain Smith for sending this pack to us to check out when uh, Mountain Smith reached out to us and asked us if Wanda wanted to try out the Mountain Smith Canine Pack, I asked her. She was extremely excited to check it out. So thanks again to Mountain Smith for sending us to check out. If you guys are looking for any tips and tricks on backpacking with your dog, well, one of what I've got is up over here. We've got a playlist full of different videos we've done on dog gear and dog backpacking tips. So when you guys are done watching this one, head over there and check that one out. But as always, guys, I am Maddie. This is Wanda. Thank you guys so dang much for watching. And we will see you guys on the next one.